Just to find out my age. <laughs> my name is Bjorn Shen, and I am the chef and owner of two restaurants here in Singapore. The first of which is Artichoke, which is a Middle Eastern restaurant in the CBD. And the second one is called Bird Bird, which is a fried chicken restaurant in the East. Um, when did I decide I wanted to be a chef? Um, ever since I was young, I knew. Uh, when I was, I think I was four. On my fourth birthday, my mom asked me what do you want to be when you grow up, Lord? And I told her I want to be a snowman. Uh, so she slapped the head, she gave up, she tried again one year later. So when I was five, she asked me, Bjorn, what do you want to be when you grow up? And my answer to her was, I want to be a rice cooker. And by rice cooker, I didn't mean the appliance, I meant the person cooking rice in the kitchen. That was my five year old infantile impression of, of, of a chef, you know, a rice cooker. So, uh, yeah, I've kind of uh, been cursed with this since I was a kid. When my friends were reading comics, I was reading books, I was read it. Oh, my food at home is awesome. It's instant noodles all the way. Instant noodles, if I feel like being fancy, I'll put a slice of cheese on it. Maybe some mayonnaise. Last thing I want to do when I get home is cook again. Words of advice for aspiring home cooks. Stay home cooks. Do not open a restaurant. You do not want the kind of life you have. Well, I mean, first of all, invest in a decent sized cutting board. I've been to so many people's houses and they say, Bjorn, can you cook us something and a cutting board is this size? You can't even put a freaking apple on it. You, know? you cut an apple in half, both halves fall off the cutting board. So invest in a nice big cutting board. And of course, use this link yourself. What is my ice cream? Oh. Um, okay, my style of food, I call it dude astronomy. It's gastronomy for dudes. So it's anything high end brought down to a really low level. Either that, or it's something really low brow that's elevated using a little bit of creativity, using a little bit of. Uh, uh, skill using some, uh, you know, using good ingredients. So that's what I call deep astronomy. And deep astronomy is what I do at both my restaurants and any pop ups that I do. Uh, and even in the dishes that you saw today, I mean, come on, Korean fried lamb chops. Or, you know, this massive curry taco thing, the prata wrap. It's all deep astronomy. Putting ingredients on everything. I mean, you start off with a lousy ingredient. No matter what you try and do to it, you know, unless you play with black magic or whatever, I don't know, it's not going to do any good for the final dish. You know? Having good ingredients is hard to get over. Oh, I love lamb. I love lamb. Um, Artichoke, my flagship restaurant that I started seven years ago, uh, serves a lot of lamb because it's a Middle Eastern restaurant. So uh, some of the cuts I'm very, very familiar with, square cut especially to shoulder. Um, it's, it's something that I've been using for since forever. What I saw today, I mean, from what I tasted, the lamb shoulder itself was super, super tender. And uh, the meat, you can just put it between your index finger and your thumb, just press it, it just melts. So that shoulder is definitely of amazing quality. I had fun working with it.